Evening everyone, I'm Napoleon Complex and welcome back to Field of Glory 2 Medieval. I've had some time to practice and now let's try and play a little bit more seriously. I'm just going to give you a chance to read the blurb here, but this is going to be the Battle of Hastings. Pause the video if you want to read this. And I'm going to be playing the Normans and I'm playing on Prince difficulty. I still find King too hard at the moment. Prince is just enough to give me, make a ferocious struggle, but King is not something I'm capable of taking on reliably at the moment. I just can't deal with the quality disadvantage. Uh, I am finding this game a lot trickier than um, the original Field of Glory 2, incidentally. Um, I'm finding it. A, a King is a lot more unforgiving than Deity, and I don't know why that is. It might just be the balance of the epic battles, or maybe it's just my inexperience with this, with the later kinds of uh, medieval armies. But it is proving to be quite a challenge. So, just a disclaimer: I have played this particular battle before. I've also won it once before, which will make things twice as embarrassing if I do lose this. So the overall situation is that the Saxons are formed up on the hill and they have a good collection. They basically have all their best troops in the front. You've kind of got some rubbish poor quality farmmen at the back, but most of this is good quality farmmen and some very dangerous huskers here and this will smash anything I try and send to attack directly. So we need to wear this down, but we also have a 22 turn time limit, which means not only do I need to wear the enemy, I don't have time to just sit back and wear the enemy down forever, uh, which is probably a good thing, that wouldn't be fair. I have to do it quickly. So one strategy I've come up with is to advance to here, and this is a strategy I thought of after the battle. But essentially what I'm going to try to do is pin these slingers down in melee, because they have ammo. In Prince Difficulty, we don't have any ammunition. And so, unlike the historical Norman army, our skirmishers are much weaker than the English skirmishers. And that is something we have to look out for. Again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep this unit in check. I'm going to run in here and shoot. And this unit of white crossbow is going to come in, and they are going to be the ones to engage these things in melee. And what I'm hoping is this will allow me to win the skirmish battle in melee rather than. Or at the very least, force their skirmishers behind the lines so that I can then start picking away at these units. Now, the cavalry are going to be key to this battle. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my cavalry and I'm going to arrange them into the center of the battlefield and they are going to form a front line to charge. And I think I'll form up here because that will allow us to slide more efficiently into line. And I'm going to basically try and smash through the enemy, enemy center. And it won't be one. The reason I'm going to use my cavalry to do that is I don't want to charge the enemy army all at once. I need to have. Um, because if I attack the English army, they will attack me and I'll end up getting, sma I'll, I'll end up getting my face smashed in. So I need to use my cavalry to weaken the enemy front line before I. Right, what I'm going to do with these units. Although it advises you in the campaign to scroll not to go around the side, I actually find it's very helpful to try and get some units behind the uh, Norman line, so that may be something that's worth doing. We'll see how it goes for me. Uh, so, one, two, three, four units coming, we'll move this unit one block over. Uh, there is unfortunately quite a bit of setting up for this battle, but it's only 22 turns, we'll be through this quickly. Luckily, because it's split in two directions, uh, oh, great, it's not ideal. I would rather, rather that unit got disrupted than one of the flanking pieces. They all fumble around behind the lines, but they'll never actually advance until later on in the battle. Uh, the, just like in history, the English army will eventually reach a critical, 
cool point where they'll basically just go berserk and charge you. Uh, so, oops. Right, that's kind of a problem. Charge in here. Thankfully, I don't think the AI is actually smart enough to attack here. Right, so I'm waiting for them to expose their flanks. Uh, this unit's probably going to get fragmented. As long as they do their job and hold their ground, it's fine. I'm just waiting for the flank attack to go in there. Over here, we'll continue to organize. Just so we can swing out. These guys uh, and these guys going the other way. So we have to work quickly and efficiently because we have a limited number of turns. The timer is going to be our biggest enemy here in the end. Of course, unless of course we attack too early, in which case the biggest enemy will be the English army coming to kill us. Uh, so it's kind of attack too early or when you're unprepared and the English will kill you. Uh, attack too late and it will be the um, timer that uh, ruins your chances for conquering England. I've also attempted the English side of this battle, and this is much harder in my opinion. Or maybe that's just because I'm not very good at dealing with knights yet. Let's see, so they're going to step like this. So they're going to come two units. So we step here, and we should be fine. So I might be sending an extra two units around the flank there. Oh, that's holding them in reserve. Problem is, this, we have one flanking unit that's going around here. I do want to flank this unit because it's a good chance. Gives me a good chance to infiltrate this part of the line. So there are going to be multiple routes of ingress. We've got a flank attack going here. Uh, we'll probably mm, the difficult slope means we can't really get a flank attack there. But we can probably get some troops around here. Problem is they've got this back line which will turn to face us. So I'm not really sure how good this flanking attack will be in practice. Might help if we get engage the enemy here. Horsemen still getting into position. Not really much going on at this point. Okay, these guys are pretty much being waved goodbye to. They might escape, I doubt it. This unit won't actually flank. Oh, never mind. They broke into something. Well, that is immensely useful. Again, hit this unit in the flank. They held firm. So the most I'm going to get out of this is a fragmentation, and we didn't even get that. Uh, this unit, wherever I place it, is going to be in the line of fire, so... Sucks to be them. We'll step our troops out of the way of the knights. Uh, the surviving enemy archers are actually a bit of a problem for me here. They are gone. Hopefully they won't rally up. I do want these units to come sideways because they're going to start getting rid of these other light archers. Okay, moving into the undergrowth. It's okay, we can move diagonally over the difficult ground. And the idea is just to cut behind them, as I said before. 
Uh, these units are probably going off into the woods as well. Because we will actually need a good four units to make this flanking attack effective. Can't quite get these knights into this. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, because what I've worked out is I need four units to launch an attack here. Incidentally, we want offensive spearmen. Ah, so this is where I need to be careful. I got caught out by this. You want offensive units that can join in the attack by the knights near the knights. Flank. You want your defensive spearmen in the middle. And the good thing about these particular flanking units, the Flemish spearmen, is their offensive spearmen as well. So they can launch attacks. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start using my knights to launch charges up at the Fardman and the idea of course is to cause disruptions which we can eventually exploit in the breakthrough without having to move our whole army up to engage in the hill. But the idea is just to break the entire flank open. Um, I kind of want my better armoured spearmen in the centre here where they're definitely going to be able to make a difference in the battle. What have we got over here on the edge of the defensive spearmen? Uh, I want the knights attacking on this front, so I'm going to have to, going to, have to reorganise this a little bit. It occurred to me that I have actually opened my flank here. Yeah, they opened the unit, it's annoying. Exactly the result I was looking for there. Okay, that's a small delay. At least we got rid of them this time. We, that was not the way I wanted them to run either. As, okay, I'd rather not charge with the general unless I can help it. Because it doesn't help on the initial impact. I want these guys to drop back if they cause a disruption. Okay. Sure. That's why you read the tooltips. So, okay. Turns out I was wrong. A general will help. Uh, okay, then, general up. And since they're still standing there, take a general. Okay, we can't take a general. And I'm not, in that case, I'm not going to charge. And these units are kind of locked off. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't completely efficient in my last battle, so I should still be able to pull this off. Turn to face. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to this flank in time. Uh, what I obviously want to do is get into... Well, the thing is, these light arches are protected anyway. So honestly, we may as well just get into a fight with the enemy skirmishers here. Better they take the... Better my skirmishers take the arrows than the knights do. And move our flanking forces into steadily into position. Obviously charging those units would be a terrible idea. I 
unfortunately my Norman Knights are going to have to struggle across this rough ground, which isn't ideal. to get used to from Field of Glory is the smaller unit size. Losing six men hurts. Especially when they're armoured. And they're knights. Let's see if we can at least get their attention. start to flank them, but I think what will happen is when I charge these units, they'll fall back. And seeing as there's no reason to have them standing there in missile uh, range, I'll attack. This should result in... Oh, they couldn't fall back. They're kind of carefully between the units there. I can at least give them a point. Oh, to have another unit that could charge right now. Right. You're facing the enemy general, so you get no, no luck so far. But it's only a 24% chance. We're not getting good luck from the rolls here. But we do have a lot of chances. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. So, I could launch a charge there, but I want to maintain my formation. Uh, I'm not sure what effect charging on this corner will have. Um, what I'll do is I'll move up here and threaten to engage in melee. So they'll route next turn, and okay. this does at least give us time to continue to move these flanking forces into position. Time is ticking away, we're already five turns into this. English stragglers will also eventually arrive, so they'll get reinforcements. Charge my cavalry first, because hopefully these guys will do something stupid and panicky. Can I withdraw these units through my ranks? No, I can't. Okay. So I think the best I can... Aha, there we go. That gets them open. And that's going to happen from time to time. Can't really do much about them. Lousy luck today. This is not a 20% chance. Again, the game isn't cheating, I'm just getting unlucky. Let's see. Nice. Okay, let's 
see what else happens. Okay. Get this unit to see if it causes breach. We couldn't cause a breach. To be honest, I kind of wasn't expecting to stand their ground. We're going to lose this fight. Tempting. There's a nice little orderly traffic jam going on here. So the second part of my plan is now going into action here. These Fardmen are in trouble. Uh, it might actually be nice to borrow a general soon. Anything else? Aside from my unwise charge there. Alright. Uh, Scarsh probably shouldn't be forgotten about. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, that wasn't really helpful. rallying up. Shoot me in the face, will you? That was lucky. I don't know if it was the last though. Any trickling fire you can bring to Bayark is useful. Right, that's not the unit down at least. Charge. Double layer, so I have no idea what will happen if I charge. I'll have to get use this unit to get them out of the way. This is costing me time. It's very annoying. What I can do for the moment, just so I have these units in some kind of use, is just step out to the side. Okay, that would obviously be a bad idea. It doesn't matter too much if I move my line around. I'm really just trying to get through their lines. really was quite unlucky not to be able to get those Fardmen out of the way. Right. I am going to launch an attack here. And now we need to get our spearmen into a position where they can make contact. Because we have another opportunity now our infantry may be able to open up the enemy line. Doesn't matter so much here, but over here we need to be paying attention. As happened historically, our cavalry are getting absolutely nowhere. Okay, 
So our Ferdinand will not be in a good position there. But it's giving these Norman dismounted knights a chance to win the battle. And there we go, a fragmentation. That unit's on its way out. guys may as well have the general then. Another hold farm. Oh, looks like I'm moaning about it. Get on with it. We've got a 41% chance to win here, so the cavalry are doing their job. Uh, keep catching them. They drop back. So once again, if we can catch these archers out, no luck. No joy, as they say. On the plus side, I can pro I can charge now, and I can also reform my line a little bit. Right, I know what I want to do. I need to be kind of careful of the ordering here. General, I want to charge them. They are. I don't mind if he's there. He can stay there. There we go, that's a disruption. Hmm. They're unlikely to drop again. Unpleasant. That unit's suffered quite a bit. I'm gonna bring in some archer fire here. If you can get little snipes on them, do so. I can always move this, these units back out the way again next turn. Right, now we're starting, now things are starting to heat up a little bit. I'm going to bring my infantry forward. Uh, well, at least so they can get, so they're relevant to the battle. As these flanking forces are starting to get into position now. I don't care what the rules of the battle are supposed to be. You're not going to get me to give away a chance to get into a flanking position. Get you next time. Uh oh. So remember when I said that the English eventually charged? I didn't think it'd be as soon as this. That's going down downhill. Oh good, they got pushed back. That buys me some time. Right, I wasn't expecting this. It makes sense, I understand why they do this, but... I wasn't expecting it until later on in the battle. So there goes my orderly plan of attack. This is significantly less good. Give them the general. Not what I wanted to happen from that. I was hoping to uh, catch them in the flank. 
that was pretty much the worst way this could have gone. Okay. Get me something. And they're about to get thumped from both sides. And then trying to probably stop that unit from getting in. See if we can give them a charge and break through here. Between the unexpected charge out and just sheer dumb luck, I'm not feeling too confident here. And these are defensive spearmen, so I can't really do anything with them. They can't charge my cavalry, it's not very easily. Turn this way, I'm gonna pull back behind our ranks. charge the Breton Spearman here. Uh, that way this unit might be able to do something if they break through. Go about this. 
uh, whatever way I do it, at least severely the sword, at least this way they won't have a height disadvantage. Of course, the main event, I'm going to have to take it anyway, depends if I'm or not. I'm going to try and try to take advantage of the potential flank attack here. Hopefully they'll give way on the enemy's turn. Uh, in the meantime, I want to move up and make sure that these uh, poor quality Farquhar can't interfere. I move these units up here. Uh, we are winning. Oh, really? Okay, so it turns out this unit might even be needed. And things are slowly starting to go our way right here, not so much here. I could try and breach it right. More importantly, let's try and equalize the situation. Really. So they've come to pieces. This unit's no, at least not uh, losing desperately badly. And I'm kind of waiting for this unit to get driven back. Get up onto the good ground. Uh, uh, this is much this. Before I do that, let's see how this goes. We are at this ground here. Right. I think if I move here, if I move here, that unit could end up turning into here. If I move here, they, there's no way they're going to be able to stop this flank attack unless something goes wrong here. So that's why I'm moving on to the bad ground. It does have a purpose. I'm putting on a respectable fight. Just spotted something there at that unit. Uh, well, if they attack there, they'll be opening up the flank, so it does, have an, it does achieve its objective. Excellent, trying to break through here. This is going much bit, much more smoothly than my uh, first attempt at this battle. And that's with all my moaning. So these units have taken a lot of fire, I've noticed. Obviously the Norman Knight situation here is not ideal. Um, I will move up here to threaten them. Uh, in fact, actually... First, and that blocks them. And again, I'm, I can help oh, quickly. I'm going to block on ruined troops. I'm just trying to weaken this unit as much as I can. I need to be careful where I put my um, troops. Again, it's tempting to just try and blow through here, but I'm probably just going to end up getting swamped and getting my cavalry killed. I need my breakthrough to be a little bit better planned than that. What would really help is if we could get a brick. Uh, if we fall back, it's going to hurt like hell. Just keep trying to break through here. Right, that's right, the general there. Well, at least this one unit of French Knights and Sergeants is keeping all three of these units in check, which is great value for the uh, troop types we're using here. And we'll use what firepower, the better firepower we've got. And I'll move in and continue to sh sh shell this unit. Alright. I would have noticed something like forgetting about these units. So the situation is slowly reversing. The English are. Uh, I've tried to push up down the hill, but they're. Exactly as happened in history, they're getting caught out in places and they're starting to get destroyed and my flying attack isn't helping the situation. Well, the disruption wasn't welcome. 
I'm worried about these guys not coming in. Need to spell that. Okay. I always like it when the animation stops. That means that means I know who's going to break. Thankfully the enemy general was asleep. I didn't see this coming. That pretty much brings us even here. This unit's fragmented, we really just want to keep them out of trouble. I'll change the facing so that the Breton Knights and Sergeants can, in a pinch, protect them. See if we can break through here. No luck. Uh, are these guys remaining steady? Okay. I think getting the flank attack in is the priority rather than going for better ground. We're starting to hold firm here. I like where this is going. Uh, this is much too much at the moment. That charge came in handy. Let's revisit this flank here. Right, priority. Mm. Grab any of these lads' attention, and by grab their attention, I mean. Right, I need to be careful here. This unit's just going to have to be put under fire, and I need to protect this fragment of the unit from the night. I'm actually going to give them the general, see if I can get them to rally up. What did I just do? That was really stupid. Something like that. Minimize the potential disaster of that move. But that was very foolish of me. Right. That's why you want to use offensive spearmen whenever you can. Because I have a general around who can make it slightly less forgiving, slightly more forgiving. Mm. This is a bit of a gamble, frankly. I'll take a little lock them in like this. This unit comes flying in with a flank attack. You see Nemo. This is what I like to see. Shoot a couple of these guys down though, as soon as they're glaring angrily at us. Leave them in place, because uh, moving the skirmishers up like this is a mistake. They're doing nothing and they're really just getting in the way of my cavalry. Progress. 
slowly chewing them up. Why did my cavalry decide that they were going to stand their ground there? That's because these guys have pen penned them in. Okay, that's a real emergency. Oh, good timing. Dividends. Good, because I need a quick break here. Let's hope this spreads some chaos. Oh. Do I smell a general panic? Engaged. Sometimes units are annoyingly stubborn. In this situation, here is a disaster. I'll come back to that. get something in to hit these units here. I might need to block in my own cavalry. It's never particularly anything something that particularly appeals to me. It might be necessary here. Because we are about to get flanked. Right. Do the obvious, see if we get more field and more time to do with potentially save. Okay, unless they suffer immediate rate, it's not going to happen. Hmm. Unless of course I'm, I do that. Ah, excellent, now they've disrupted as well. This unit was unfortunately decided that it's going to fight like hell. Uh, and trying to break them here will just expose my flank, so that's not a good idea. Okay, obvious dangers. Obvious, don't let them flank my troops. It's easy to get. It's easy to miss the basics when there's so much going on. Hmm. Alright, that's the part of the battlefield I'm worried about. Uh, I think should start hopefully turn to face soon. Uh, what's best to do with these units? What I'd like to do, obviously, is start to slowly envelop the enemy. Hmm. 
they can fall back. Okay. Um, I am going to have to... You know, this, this awful, horrible situation going on. And I kind of want these guys to stay in melee. Right. Um, I'll move to here because I need to get these guys out of the park. Commander in chief who's involved in this. I'm sorry, lads, but you're going to have to show a little bit of valor here. Flank attack to go through. Trying to say I should have done that roll first, shouldn't I? They've already duck, gone, so it's just what happens here. Okay. It's good quality Fardman against not particularly great Spearman, so that's why that's uh, so still not greatly in my favour. Hmm. We managed to kind of extric extricate herself from this situation. And I feel confident enough that I can move the archers back into harass. But this unit is slowly going down. Um, but I do feel nervous enough that I'm moving this unit back. And as for charges here. That unit's holding that unit in check. I was going to make a decision about whether or not to hold this unit in place so I can get the flank attack next turn. They'll hopefully turn and be okay. Um, they'll, if I try and move this unit to here to get the diagonal, they'll move to block me. I probably want to keep some cavalry in reserve just in case something horrible happens here. Whatever they do, they'll block me, so I can't really make my flank and my move here. They're crumbling anyway. Let's, uh, let's keep moving our troops around. I hope to eventually get some flank attacks through somewhere. I'll be able to do something with this. Okay, next turn. I don't think the English are in a bad way now, I don't think they've got much left in them. And this gives me a plan for the King Death Toll, because the flank attack was really effective. Moving up is bad timing. The English. Well, that's just unfortunate. But I really did work quite hard to protect these guys. And they're about to get cracked open like an egg. Finally! Don't have to keep uh, protecting them like my firstborn child. Mm. See the way these units are arranged, just protecting everything back here. And these guys are now in trouble. And oh, the is just the right place. 
Norman Spearman are unfortunately defensive spearmen, so they're the wrong kind of spears for the situation. Send these guys into battle. Please don't lose an impact. Be terrible. Can't argue with those odds. Get in and try and help with the situation. If we can get one of these units off the uh, ears, then I'll help with the situation here. I have both not unlocked and we don't fall to fragmented. These guys have completely blocked us. That is unfortunate. I'm no longer quite so terrified about these guys getting attacked. Start to have attacks with my cavalry again. Just any fire we can use against these guys, let's do it. Hmm. This is obviously not an ideal situation. Oh no. Look, he's coming to meet us. We're facing forward for now, but I think that's going to change. Alright, I need to go for one big shattering blow here. we're going to get flanked here. So, we might win the battle, but William of Normandy might not survive to take his place on the throne. I don't particularly like William the Conqueror as a historical figure, so I've got no particular problems with that. But it does somewhat defeat the purpose of the exercise, I'll admit that much. Mm. Uh -oh. See what the problem is. unit's about to auto break and then these guys are going to uh, these guys will get broken too right, keep it coming at least this does sort of form a kind of reserve in case this goes wrong might as well shoot them in the face might be better to do The battle's never over until it's over. Good. Thank goodness they weren't patient. It could have been a lot worse. Although, with all those people ganging against the king, this is now bad for this time, and I really wish they hadn't rallied. Bad. 
because it is bad. Your timing isn't though. Prepare to get decked by absolutely everything. Right. Well, I think, uh, Put it this way, I am getting on top of this hill one way or another. Whether I break in through the left flank, right flank, or somehow get in through the center. The English this English army is going down. The knights in the center have had a bad day. on the new all troops is murderous trying to get them around the flanks so where they can do anything. first. Okay, this isn't... Oh, God. Well, we are going to suffer one bad reversal. This entire part of my line is about to come apart. close and of course that just makes any more any setbacks all the more frustrating.
Winning on the flanks. Things are going terribly in the center. This English army has had more rallies than it deserves. Fairly sorrowful English Anglo Saxons uh, fought like hell as well. You know, you get they're getting desperate with oh, first on our offensive spears. William suffers the indignity of uh, running away and seeing the uh, beautiful banner turn. It's all going to pieces. trying to kill us. The English really did get the better of us there on the centre. Sharp now hell in my Flank charge is a flank charge, and guess my defense is German safety and that's a disruption. Height of advantage now. Of course, we're on the hill. And we're going to ride around. So it's possible to ride around and turn. I'm coming in for the flank here. We do at least have some recourse if this goes wrong. Right, now we can get them in the back. It really is car Yeah, it really is Carson's for them now. been bombarding that unit the entire battle and just nothing's it's just not going to break these skirmishers have done nothing for us here that's not to say they've done their work they cleared off the enemy skirmishers very effectively but uh, in terms of influencing the battle after that they've been dead right Is that? Can someone actually go back and count the rallies in this battle? Good. Any of moves like that. Maybe this help me out. Good. They've stayed in contact. That gives my nice perfect opening. Get a move on though, because we're running out of time. Look at how lads.
turn in the one direction, which will mean I won't get outflanked this turn. Uh, hmm. Can't charge across their front, fair enough. You can go after these units. That's frustrating. Right. I may have gotten a little complacent here. I don't know why these guys aren't retreating. Should have. What is going on? Why aren't they pulling back? Oh, come on, don't lose it now. Not when I was so confident. Face of the battle where you feel like you should be winning, but you can't quite close the deal. Hell. You realize how, just now, how bad they place these archers. to victory, but the centre is destroying us. Good. A major break for someone on the battlefield is the only thing that's going to save our bacon here. Blowing to good chances the wind doesn't help. We need to get these guys to move back if they're in trouble. Get out of our way. Can't pull back. I really don't know why, because they're not faced by anything. They can't pull back. Something changed about the movement rules that I don't understand? Why can they not drop back? Exactly. 
all of that fighting, these Ferdmen are going to pull it out after all. Right. We can't lose after all, surely. armies and tatters have broken two of their flanks. This rally horns. Gonna crack their army open. They're falling everywhere. 46%. The rally, 21%. They're finally giving in. Starting to crack. Again. Right, they're not going to crack them unless uh, they're not going to crack this turn. Okay. Well, it's a 23% we can get another route somewhere for these guys in melee. Should be able to dispose of this unit before it. Uh, well, we're going to lose here. I love how this has become, gone from we're definitely going to win to, to maybe we'll survive if we get really, really lucky. To be honest.
get these attack dogs and wondering if there's any point in throwing my troops into this. One night. It's might be better just to accept that we're going to lose here. Because we are. And, uh, Wrong call. No, nope, that's a bad idea. If they attack the skirmishers, they'll be carried straight into the backs of my cavalry. Okay. Complaining about luck in the Field of Glory game. Sometimes the dice goes against you. I've had a few strokes of fortune in this battle. This is one thing that happens in the last couple of turns of the battle. The uh, knight actually falls. The are now fighting in the dark. I think it's quite a cool effect. Just got around a few of them around the right place with done. We need to get rid of them. 51%. We're up at 50% now. 50% of their army's gone. Uh, yeah, that's still accurate. 50% of their army's gone. Charging in. I'm not showing any chivalry here. I do not have the luxury. I think I'm quite a good set of flying attack here. As they're above average, they'll stand just a little crucial turn longer. Oh, but they are very, very close to running away now. Yeah! Yes! Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, oh, but this unit's not going to crack. Get them out of the way at least. Uh, and let's let this go through first. Go for an enemy general, brilliant. You guys go hide in the woods like the miserable cowards you are. <laughs> Those men are getting knighthoods after this battle. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to help because, um... The enemy will get another turn. Battle isn't over yet, we've got a few turns to 
to work with, so let's try and use that. Good. Turn 19. Not long to go. Eternally rallying for. I'm wondering if this is the mechanic of the battle to reflect the English. And it occurs to me that this might not be luck, it might be a hidden mechanic. Which I'm not averse to actually, because it's the uh, English. As I said, the English army did fight very bravely. So, real credit to the uh, development team if they implemented something like that. I think we're going to win this by getting to 60%. I don't think we're going to win this by, um... This has been incredible, in which case, this has been incredibly true to life. This is up to back here, below. Uh, 25%. And these guys, unfortunately, are not in the high with we just won. Well, I was already exhausted after the day, and I think that just pushed me into the edge of the cliff and wanted to go to sleep. But that is the Battle of Hastings one. Ooh, yes, honour is satisfied. Let the slaughter end because I'm physically too tired to chase them anymore. Okay, anyway, folks, that's the victory screen. Thank you for watching this. I have been Napoleon Complex, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Farewell. <laughs>